Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, if you're not a Lola, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can be a Lola and peek into my world. Don't forget to click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. So today I have another video. I have a, another kit that has arrived. Um, as you guys know, I decided that, you know, just recently, well, I didn't really decide. I kind of just started saying yes to a couple people. Um, and so I have quite a, you know, list of babies that I will be painting um, as private orders. Most of them I pretty much have freedom to paint however I see fit. So I will be doing different ranges, different color of colors of babies. Not sure we're going to have to really, I'm going to get with the mommy on this one and really narrow down if they want Caucasian or biracial, light biracial, AA, that type thing. But um, I'm going to show you guys the kit. You guys said you would like to see the kits when they come in. So I am doing as promised. Um, if you guys missed the kit of Ashby, it is on my website or my blog. Um, it's uh, MissSerenitySmithBabies.com and you can see the video of me opening that box there. Um, and only because I did just a quick video, um, just it was basically just for QC purposes. So this is kind of the same. Um, most kits you have, well that one was coming from the collector. This one came directly from the sculptor, or not the sculptor, the pour. And so, um, therefore I do have to inspect this kit, inspect this kit. I have three days to inspect the kit. Um, anyway, this is, um, Finn. Number 11 by Lillian Breville and poured by Claire Teller. So I am going to show you guys what he looks like for those that don't know. Some of you guys have been on the channel for a while and have seen Finn and seen Finn on other channels maybe or other places. But this is what he looks like here. I mean... This is him. I'm going to show him blank here. And then he's going to go back in here because he has to wait. I'm trying to see. Do I have another bin? I have to. But he'll be waiting for his turn. Um, once I finish the next baby, he gets to go on the table. I think he's next in line. I'm pretty sure he's next in line. I don't have my list out in front of me right now. So, of course, since, let me see what, I gotta see what you guys see. Okay, let me see. Mm-hmm. Wait. So, anyway, let me move some of my stuff out the way. <laughs> all right so just trying to see what you guys can see so oh he doesn't have on a diaper of course i forgot about that um so he's wrapped in this tissue paper this is his leg one of his legs and his little foot oh my goodness so cute <laughs> I love this coat. So he has one one leg, one foot that the toes are all separate. As you can see. The other is they're together. Alright. He is poured in the soft silicone all in one piece. I don't know. Oh yeah, he has armatures. 
So he has elbow armatures. He has a beautiful fist here. Okay, great nail beds. Oh, he's so soft. <laughs> All right, let's see how we gonna do this. He is a boy, so of course he got boy bits. This is, he has an open hand here. get quiet he has brown eyes he has an open mouth with tongue and a top gums Sometimes the silicone has like every now and then like they might have a little something but little minor imperfections that when as you paint it um it can it will fill in as well. Sometimes you have to really look Lillian sculpts very deep in her creases so sometimes it's you know you sometimes at, at quick glance you might be like oh is it a rip or is it a tear or whatever but really it's just like she sculpts very deep um her creases sometimes but oh look at that he wrinkles he wrinkles it like he down where his spine is or supposed to be he literally wrinkles there I don't know if you guys can see that and he's like he, he just wrinkles oh my god like you could <laughs> you can feel it wow that's crazy um yeah so he is very very soft very very soft I am actually kind of excited that I get another go at this kit um I painted him before but now that I'm more familiar with the sculpt, I'm thinking I could, you know, really do even a little bit more with this one. Since I'm familiar with it and I've painted it before and seen how it looked one way, I can kind of do a little bit more. So we'll see which way that mommy wants this boy to be. Um, but I think he'll be beautiful either way. I really love his lips. And so I really love him. So that's that's Mr. Finn. He's pretty long, guys, as you can see. But I can't really show him too much because he doesn't. I can't show his, you know, boy bits. But I don't want to put no diaper on him or anything like that. So, um, like I said, he's he's a long baby. But I want to wrap him up. Um, He's very flexible. Hang on. He's very soft. I don't know if you guys can see. He's very soft. I don't know a lot of people. I was asking people, like, how do they feel about the soft silicone and everything. And some people was like, oh, you know, they don't really like it. They feel like they move without bones, etc., etc. But I think it is a limit. To it like it is with everything else he has the cutest belly button too like um i think it's a limit to everything like anything in life it's a limit um 
but I really like the soft silicone I think it's the flexibility is so great and they can pose so much nicer and I think that um you have less risk with a tear on the softer silicone than the actual firmer silicone and I know a lot of people will dispute that with me but I just know from my personal experience I have had better luck well I haven't really had any issues with any of my babies you know as far as tears and stuff go but I have like like been worried you know with the firmer silicone versus the soft silicone because it kind of moves very fluid so you don't have to really feel like you're forcing it or anything so but anyway that is him so i hope you guys like him he has really nice ears like i said too to paint and so he's gonna be a cutie so i'm really excited to paint him that's baby fan guys okay so I will, you guys follow me on my blog, follow me on Instagram, and when I get him started and once he gets, you know, going, of course, I will share with you guys then. So, all right, thanks guys for watching. I'm going to get him wrapped up, got to go get dinner going, and we will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys are enjoying me unboxing these babies and Hopefully I can get Genesis out and then Jolie is coming along. She's making her way and so hopefully she'll be done and that will free up two, two of my spots and I can start working on two other babies in that spot. <laughs> and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I get them all painted and then root it because it's, it's going to be a, ooh, when it gets to the rooting part, that's the part that slows me down. So that's the longest part is the rooting. So anyway, guys. Like I said, thanks for watching. I hope that you guys continue to follow. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.